Hello everyone. This is a good exam level question. Uh, n is equal to 2 to the power 12, 2 to the power 12 to the power m and you are multiplying it with 3 to the power 963 to the power small n, right? And uh, it is given that the last digit of this expression, the last digit of this expression is 2, right? And you have to uh, judge the nature of m plus n, whether it will be odd, it will be even, or whether we cannot determine it, right? So uh, let, let me take you through this question. First thing first, understand the rule. For when the last digit is 2 or 3, how do you check uh, the last digit is by dividing the power. So here is, this is the power, the complete power. You divide the power by 4, got it? If the remainder is 0, the power is 4. Remainder is 1, power is 1. Remainder is 2, power is 2. Remainder is 3, power is 3. I'm repeating. Remainder 1, power 1. Remainder 2, power 2. Remainder 3, power 3. Remainder 0, power 4. So that is the rule for finding out the last digit. Uh, you divide the power by 4 and replace the power by the new power. Whenever the cyclicity is 4, uh, which is in case of both 2 and 3. Alright. Okay. So 12 to the power m, when I divide this by 4, the power 4, 3 are 12. Right. This is divisible. So the remainder will always be 0. So as I told you, when the remainder is 0, the power is 4. Because 12 is directly divisible by 4. I hope this is clear. Now, so you have got a value for uh, uh, this uh, first expression and that is 2 to the power 4 is 16. So this is 6. Okay. Now, when you divide see, this number by 4, yes, see, what do you get? Uh, you get uh, 960 is divisible by 4, uh, you get 3. So what, what, what remains is uh, 3 to the power n, right? Now 3 to the power n can further be written as 4 minus 1 to the power n, right, divided by 4. So now again 4 is divisible, so this gives a remainder 0. So what remains is minus 1 to the power n. Got it? So minus 1 to the power n. So this can give you either uh, plus 1 if n is even and give you minus 1 if n is odd. I hope this is clear. So uh, in both cases, so if we take it as plus 1, 3 to the power 1, you will get 3. If you take it as minus 1 by 4, right? Minus 1 by 4, the remainder is when you get a negative remainder, to convert it into positive remainder, you simply need to add it with the divisor. 4 minus 1. The remainder is 3. Okay. In this case, the remainder is as it is 1. So, if you take 3 to the power 3, the, uh, the remainder becomes 3, then you get 27. This is 7. Right. So, in the first case, you are getting 6, 3 is 18. And the second case, you are getting 2. So, which case is applicable? This case. Right. So, here, this is the case which is correct, which in turn means that uh, n should always be, for this case, n has to be odd. And you know that uh, m, uh, do, 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 do you know anything about m? No, actually m doesn't have any restriction, right? m can be odd and can, can, be, can be even because it doesn't matter. In any case, this remains the same because 12 is divisible by 4. So look at this. Uh, is there any restriction on m? No, m can be odd can also be even. Accordingly, n is always odd, right? So when we add these two, odd plus odd is even and even plus odd is odd, right? So it can be odd or it can be even. You cannot uniquely determine whether m plus 1 will be odd or even. So I hope uh, this question uh, is uh, pretty clear. Now, just by looking at m, since m would be odd or even and uh, n, uh, then it would have depended uh, whether uh, n is even or odd, you could have actually said that m plus n cannot be determined, right? But the nature cannot be determined. But I just went through these details to uh, help you understand uh, uh, how cyclicity is uh, taken care of. So let, let me uh, recap the concept once again. Let's start with this. So when the digits are 2 and 3, uh, you divide the power by 4. Right? And find the remainder. 
remainder 1 power 1 remainder 2 power 2 remainder 3 power 3 remainder 0 power 4 that is the rule so 12 by 4 it gets cancelled directly so if it's cancelled remainder is 0 so irrespective of m always you will get 6 here getting it right so there is no constraint on m since there is no constraint on m m can be odd or can also be even which means m plus n can be even can be odd right you cannot be sure because m can be both so the answer is there only you cannot determine uh, the, the nature of m plus n whether it is odd or even but just to uh, explain this question uh, and to learn uh, statistics better I, I want to the uh, second part as well 966 to power n by 4 so 4 into 240 is 960 so the remainder becomes 3 so here the remainder first becomes 3 to the power n all right then you divide it by 4 so 3 by 4 minus 1 to the power n now here it can be 1 or min uh, minus 1 uh, the remainder depending on whether n is odd or even this is the case when n is even and this is the case when n is odd so there are two cases in the first case the remainder comes as 1 right so 3 to the power 1 you get 3 so 6 3 ja 18 so the last digit becomes 8 but you have to consider the case where the last digit is 2 so uh, this case is considered minus 1 means the remainder becomes 3 so 3 cube is 27 so you get 7 here and 7 into 6 gives 2 got the point so we can uniquely determine suppose the question was uh, can you tell something about the nature of n so definitely yes you can say that n is always odd right uh, but on m plus n you cannot be sure you cannot determine uh, I hope uh, this question uh, clears lots of your concepts of uh, cyclic properties of numbers. Uh, all the best. Thank you.